It's hard to, to say how I tackled it. I was shocked that I had cancer because there isn't cancer in my family. You know, when you have cancer and your life is in danger, you go through this horrible period where you're terrified. And at that point, I don't remember anything else that happened in the office. My wife said to me, so what's happened? I said, I have cancer. What? Like, she didn't believe it. And she said, what did they say? And I said, I don't know. Because I didn't hear anything after that word cancer. So I, I literally thought I was going to die in that moment, even though it was a very low risk melanoma at the time. And my dermatologist just told me to go home and, and look on the BC Cancer Agency website for information, which I really wish I had not done. The melanoma data that was on the website was like 10 years outdated. So we really knew as a family in that moment that we were in, in big trouble. You know, nobody took us outside and sat down and said, you know, here's how the process is going to work. Here's how we're going to help you navigate through the process. It was just, here's the side effects of the drug you're going to have, and we'll see you next week for your first infusion. And people were using words like lesion instead of tumor to be nice to me, which, you know, delayed my understanding really of what it was. I was actually given a brochure on how not to get melanoma, which was quite redundant, but you know, being a true Canadian, I thanked her and left the office. As, as everything slowed down at home, okay, I have cancer, what am I supposed to do? There was no cancer centre in Prince George, I didn't know anything about cancer. Well, of course I wanted to know, you know, how does the disease progress, uh, what kind of help is available, what kind of treatments are available. The general answer was, um, there's really nothing you can do, you just need to uh, sort out your affairs. I was just terrified. When you're dealing with a cancer, that's all you want is something positive. To someone that's just been diagnosed with melanoma, I would just say, I would say, keep hope. You know, struggle for calmness, which is a bit of a contradiction in terms, but you just get so excited and agitated that you don't think clearly and so you can't make really good sensible decisions and you're actually difficult to help and to work with because you're worried at so many levels. You're not alone. I was left alone in a very dark place and it was incredibly tough and I really don't want people to be there and in the 21st century.